Hi, how you doing? My name is Locke. I'm from 2MCCTV.com. This is video uh, video one of how to set up your DVR for remote viewing. When you're setting up your DVR for remote viewing, you're really not setting up the DVR. You're mainly setting up your router to be able to access your DVR from anywhere around the world. Now, before we can get into configuring your router and your DVR and all that, there's a couple things that we need before we can go to get before we can do all that. First thing we're going to need is the IP address of your main router. We're going to need to find the username and password of your router, and we need to confirm that it's the main router that we're connecting to. Now, when I mean main router, it's it's the router that it's that leads to the internet. So, it's common to have one router that your internet service provider gives you, and then have an aftermarket router connected to that. And when if you hook up your DVR to a secondary router, you're gonna have to do more. There's gonna be more steps involved to get it working. Uh, I'll go into more detail as we go uh, through these steps. But for right now, let's find the IP address to our main router. The easiest way to do it is to connect your DVR to the main router, then switch your uh, DVR setting to DHCP. The router will automatically give your DVR an IP address and just write down that that gateway IP address. What I like to do is I like to connect my DVR to that router, connect the laptop or my computer to the same router, and when I have my computer up and running, uh, I'll hit start. If you're on Windows 7 Vista, you can follow along. I'll hit start, then I'll type in CMD to open a command prompt. If you're on Windows XP, make sure you click start, click the run button, and type in CMD and click OK. So once you have that command prompt open, type in IPCONFIG. Hit enter, and right here where it says gateway, go ahead and write that down. So let me go ahead and write that down right here. And just to verify, what you can do is you could type this IP address in to your browser and it should prompt up the configuration page for your router. So let me type it in. It asked me to log in to my router. So I know I have the right IP address. But let me go ahead and minimize right, that right now because step two is finding the username and password for your router. Now most router default username and password is going to be admin for the username and admin for the password. It could also be password for password too. Um, if it's not, make sure you refer to your router's manual. You can also look it up on the internet by typing in the model number on Google and take a look at the documentation that is online. And if that doesn't work, the last thing you can do is call the tech support of the manufacturer and they'll give you the password. So let me go ahead, once you get the password, type it in and see if you can log in. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Okay. So right now I'm logged into my router. So you should be at this, you know, so once you have the IP address and everything like that and the username and password, you should be able to log in. And once you're logged in, the last thing we have to do is we have to confirm that it's the main router. The easiest way to do that is let's we could refer to a website to find our external IP address right here. We need to know what's our external IP address. So I go to a website called canyouseeme.org and it gives you your external IP address. Mine is 97.75.106.45. So if I go to my router, each router is different it should give you a status. So I'm going to go ahead and look for where it says status. So down here it gives me a status to my internet connection. It's either going to say internet connection or WAN connection or ISP IP address. One of those. As you can see down here it gives me that IP address. This IP address matches my external IP address. So that let me know that this is my main router that I'm connected to. If it's different, then you're connected to the wrong router. So that's that's basically about it for video one. After watching this video, you should know the IP address of your router to log in. You should know the username and password and you should be able to verify that you're connected to the main router. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you check out our other videos on how to set remote view. Um, we'll be uploading those soon. And uh, make sure you check out our website at www.2mcctv.com.